Hi everybody, it's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. And today we're gonna to be playing with the Hearts and Kisses bundle. It has this great stamp set that has some hearts, some lips, a lip balm, and then great sayings for Valentine's Day, sealed with a kiss, happy Galentine's Day, and you go girl. So I wanted to create a project for my Simply Sweet Stampers tutorial group that I'm in, and we're gonna go ahead and make one that will fit a lip balm. So, Let's move these supplies aside. We are going to bring in our paper trimmer. And then we're gonna bring in some of this gorgeous foil um, Love You Always specialty designer series paper. And it has Blushing Bride, Rococo Rose, and then Crumb Cake as your colors. So there's your Blushing Bride, there's your Rococo Rose, and then this is the crumb cake color. So we need a piece that is cut three inches by 10 inches. And on the 10 inch side, what we want to do is we want to score it at one inch. And I just want to let you know that when you're doing this, don't score hard like you would on cardstock because this is thinner paper. So one inch, four and a half inches, five and a half inches, and nine inches. And then you're gonna rotate it to the three inch side and you're gonna score it at one inch, and at two inches. And before we get rid of our trimmer, I'm just gonna set this aside. I have a scrap here of Rococo Rose, and I'm going to score this, or sorry, cut this um, off at about three quarters of an inch. And then I want, I'm gonna be um, using this sentiment sealed with a kiss. So I'm gonna cut it at about three inches. So I wanted to go ahead and get that done while we had the trimmer out so that we don't have to do that again. And I'm gonna go ahead and move my paper trimmer out of the way. And then you're going to wanna to bring in your paper snips and your bone folder. And we are going to burnish these score lines that we just made. So we're gonna fold the paper Gorgeous paper, oh my gosh. The catalogs, you know, never do it justice until you see it in your hands. Whoops. I didn't press down very hard on that one, I guess. Okay, so now what we want to do, gosh, that looks bigger than one inch there. Oh, it is. I burnished that a little too long here. Let's do this again. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is on the long end, we are going to cut up the score line to the first score line, and we're going to notch it out on the square. So I'm going to cut up and notch out and make that a tab, okay? Cut up, notch out. And we're gonna do this on both of the long sides. Simple, right? Oh, let's tab this end. Mm. 
Okay. So now that we got all of the whole thing tabbed, now we're gonna decide which side we want our flap to be. And since I kind of made a mistake and have that little crease there, I want this to be my tab and I'm gonna notch this center piece. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use the punch that I was using, or this punch, and I am going to put it in, let's see here. Maybe I won't use this punch. Hold on, I'm not gonna use that because I was thinking the heart was on the top. So I am gonna come in with my mini, my mini little circle punch here. And I'm just gonna center that and do a notch so I have a place to put my finger to notch that up, okay? Then I'm going to fold this back over and what I'm going to, or fold, and I'm going to add glue to all my tabs. So I'm gonna come in with my Stampin' Seal Plus, since this is a box. I want it to be nice and sealed So I'm gonna use that plus, cause that's our strong adhesive. And you kinda of gotta be careful cause it's the foil, it kinda of tends to not totally stick in some places. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the base of the box and you're just gonna fold those up just like so, okay. And then we're going to put this, since this is the base of the box, we're sealing that up towards the bottom. And then we're gonna do our top flap. Pretty simple box, right? So there's our, our um, box. We're gonna add our little lip balm. Shut our box, okay? And then that piece of three quarters inch by um, three inch Rococo Rose, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stamp sealed with a kiss. And I'm gonna use Rococo Rose ink. So I'm gonna do the same color ink on my cardstock. I kind of got to do it at an angle here, you guys. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to notch those ends. Let's cover this up because we don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna cut this at an angle, just like that. Okay, we're gonna add that probably with some dimensionals here, but I'm not quite done. I'm then gonna take a scrap of Whisper White cardstock and we're gonna do our little lip balm here or lipstick. I'm going to take my Stampin' Right markers in Crumb Cake and Blushing Bride and I'm going to do the case in the Crumb Cake and the lip balm or whatever in the Blushing Bride. 
Then I'm gonna huff on this. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm gonna have to fussy cut the, blah, I apologize, fussy cut that out. But before I do that, I'm also gonna stamp one more thing and I'm going to stamp my lips using that Blushing Bride. Just like that. Okay, well that's drying for just a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut out my lip balm. When you're fussy cutting, it's best to let um, move your paper, not your scissors, so you get an even cut all the way around. Just like that. And then we're gonna use our punch and punch out those lips. Okay, so let's bring this back in. Let's put some dimensionals here on the back of our sentiment. And I'm gonna put it towards the, the front of the box. I'm then gonna take my metallic ribbon that comes in this bundle as well. Haven't even opened it yet. There we go. See, and then all the colors will match. I'm going to tie this around the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for just a moment, just like that. I'm gonna pop dot or dimensional my lips onto my lip balm here, just like that. I'm then gonna take my um, hole punch punch a hole in my lip balm. I'm gonna thread that through my lip balm. Play with your bow till you get it just right. Okay. I'm being a little difficult here. And then cut that ribbon off. And then there is your gift box. For your lip balm. So I appreciate you guys joining me today. A totally fun, quick, easy project using this great hearts and kisses um, bundle with the punch. I love punches because it makes it nice and easy. Until next time, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.